welcome back if you've been here before and if you've not where have you been welcome back to my little film and tv channel and we're going over to well we've got a british three-part biographical mini-series to talk about today yes so it should be interesting fun so join me uh, we're gonna have a look at something called nolly please if you are new to the channel push that subscribe button push the bell notifications be great to have you on board film tv drama reviews information blogs the odd quiz as well so <clears throat> please uh if you'd like to join me and spread the word, it would be very much appreciated. If you are pressing buttons, I've already pressed that button. I'm trying to get between 10 and 15 likes so you can help me towards that target, guys, for these film and TV vlogs. So you can press that little thumbs up button. Be much appreciated. Yes, Nolly. Three by approximately 44, 45 minute episodes uh, watched on ITVX. Yes, we're going over to ITVX today. Created by Russell T. Davis. You see, Russell, you can do some okay stuff if you uh, put, put, put the effort in. That's for sure. Uh, my apologies, but uh, uh, I don't always like everything Mr. Davis uh, puts out there. Starring Helen Bonham, Helen at Bonham Carter, of course, as Crossroads star. Well, a bit more of that in my little personal opinion. Donald Gordon and these little scores. Uh, there's not many critics' reviews, just a few little scores knocking about. And that's at the 5th of February 2023 at 2pm. And Joe Public, just 199 scores and reviews have been left on the Internet Movie Database website as I'm recording this. And it's getting 8 out of 10. Hey, we'll take that. We'll take that all day long. And 89% positivity. So we'll have that. And it premiered on ITVX on the 2nd of February 2023 on the new streaming platform. So you can binge watch them, which doesn't take long. It's just like a film, basically, watching three episodes. And it will indeed air on ITV at some stage in the future. And it's about, well, let's say it's about, it's about Noah, Noah Law. Nolly to her friends was a legend in her own lifetime. She certainly was. A flame-haired widow, Meg Richardson, in the long-running soap opera Crossroads. Yes, if you're based in the UK, you'll probably know. If you're outside of the UK, you might uh, have to check Google, have a look. She was one of the most famous people in Britain. She was. Then in 1981, at the height of the show's success and the peak of Nolly's fame, she was axed without ceremony, without warning, with no explanation. With the boss's words, all good things must come to an end, ringing in her ears, Noel Gordon found herself thrown out of the show. That was her life for over 18 years. As far as well as Helena Bonham Carter, we've got Max Brown as Michael Summerton, Antonio Beneff as Jane Rossington, Bethany Antonio as Poppy Ngomo, Mark Gattis as Laddie Grayson, brilliant, Emily Butcher as Fiona Fullerton, Augustus Prue as Tony Adams, excellent, Richard Linton as Ronnie Allen, Chloe Harris as Susan Harrison, Claire Foster as Sue Lloyd, and Lloyd Griffin as Paul Henry. Yes, the very wonderful Paul Henry. You know, I don't think anyone would outdo the, the original guy for that. Yep, and that's it. There's no critics, no Rotten Tomatoes, uh, no no meta score on this, as you tend to find with these British dramas. So straight to my thoughts as summing up of this, and, and they're very, very positive. I'm going to give you this a, a 7 out of 10. Yes, a 7 out of 10 for this. And it's ITVX, so I like to congratulate it's producing some reasonable stuff at the moment. And this is another interesting biopic on someone I used to watch as a boy and then a young man. Uh, Coronation Street was always, always my favourite soap uh, back in the day, I'll have to admit that, alongside such things as, yes, Lost in Space, Star Trek, uh, The Avengers, Man in a Suitcase, you name it. But, uh, yeah, it was up there, Coronation Street. And I've, I did have a very, very wide, eclectic taste in film and TV. And, yes, Crossroads and Noel Gordon was uh, very rarely missed by me. I enjoyed it uh, up to its cancellation. It always used to be on early evening as well, so... We got him from school, perhaps having it was perhaps more the time we're having our tea before we go out and play on the park and stuff like that. But yes, I thoroughly enjoyed it. I probably didn't admit it at school. I don't think many of the, the lads would have been watching this, but I certainly did and, and I loved it. And I certainly didn't want to miss uh, much of Cross Souls up to its cancellation. So it's great to see this dramatisation. And of course, let's hope ITVX continue producing stuff like this for me because it was excellent. Helena Bonham Carter, without doubt, is great in the role. She's su such a talented actor. And offers up, the others offer great support, especially, I'll give a special mention, I think I've already hinted at it, haven't I? Augustus Prue as Tony Adams. Uh, yes, the charismatic with the old moustache, the typical 70s, 80s guy. 
And Mark Gattis, who I like, of course, from League of Gentlemen and various other things, as Larry Grayson is excellent as well. As it's entertainment, it's, it's, it's as good as a true life documentary on Noel. Probably not. It's not, you know, it's obviously dramatic license used, names have been changed, scenes have been added that not necessarily happen in real life. Hey, but uh, yes, if you want to know the real stuff, if you want to know the real no Gordon, perhaps you may to, might need to read up a little bit more. But uh, yes, based on this, a lovely lady. Uh, and why not? Why, why not? When, you know, everyone, everyone has, a, has an edge, don't they? But, and everyone has the, the, the tipping point, if you like. But uh, as entertainment on, on this lady and Crossroads in general, it's super, just superb entertainment. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Got a great watch. And uh, yeah, before you start looking up documentaries or reading about Noel Gordon herself, uh, this is just about more than enough for me. I'll be, I'll be quite happy with this. I don't, I don't really need to find out much much more about it. This this uh, this hits a spot for me. I, I did enjoy it, I must admit, and hope you do too as well. Please let me know, guys. Were you like me? Were you a kid? Were you a kid or, you know, a young girl, a young man who sort of watched it from childhood and uh, watched all these sort of things? As I said, I'm very, I still have a very eclectic taste now, of course, as you probably know. I do all reviews on a wide range of things, so... Is what it is, isn't it, guys? Anyway, let me know your comments. It'd be great to hear from you. So, me again, last one thing, don't please stay safe, everybody. Bye for now. <laughs>